hope you got something good to eat tonight. Hi, Mom. The coach really gave us a workout. Oh, boy, ham. I'm so hungry I could eat a... I knew to see what he gave us to do. Sure. Huh? Could you serve yourself in a... in a less athletic manner? Oh. Is this better? Jack. At least you could manage to be on time. After your mother goes to all the trouble to prepare a fine meal, it's... It's only common courtesy, Chuck. I know, but I couldn't help it. I was late home from school. Never mind. He did wash up and brush his hair. By the way, Chuck, I saw Barbara's mother downtown. That's quite a supper party she's planning. Mm -hmm. Is it this Friday? I'm not going. Why not? Do I have to have a reason? But all your friends will be there. I ain't crawling, not crawling. Chuck, don't talk with your mouth full. Good night, Chuck. Good night. Have a good time. Thank you, Chuck. Good night. Good night. Who wants to go to a supper party? You do, Chuck. Huh? Who are you? We're looking into the future, Chuck. I am the young man you are going to be in a few short years. Well, if you say so. <laughs> and take it from me. When we're my age, we won't be turning down invitations. Well, maybe not. Tell me, why aren't you going? I don't know. I do. You're worried about not doing the right thing. Your table manners. Now you're talking like Mom and Dad. Look, you may not care much about table manners now, but when you grow up to be me, then you'll care. But why? Why does it matter? For several reasons. Look, maybe I can show you. Let's imagine the family at dinner with nobody minding his manners. <laughs> not very pretty, is it? Each person busy feeding his face, showing no consideration for the others. People become irritated, angry. No one can enjoy a meal like this. No. Meal time is a time for pleasure and relaxation. It's the best opportunity the family has to talk together, exchange bits of news, make plans. When everybody eats properly, the meal goes better, and everybody has more fun. What's more, when we relax and enjoy ourselves, we digest our food better. And ask your doctor if that isn't important to your health. But there's more. What's that? How long now before you'll be going out to make your own way in the world? Not very long, I guess. And whatever you do, wherever you go, you'll want to put your best foot forward. Here, let's try another trick. Let's change that to a table in a restaurant. You're taking a girl out to dinner. To make a good impression, you must know what to do. Who seats the girl? When you sit? How to order your meal? Of course, the girl wants to know these things, too, in order to show herself at her best. Then you must know how to eat your meal. And the only way to have good table manners when you want them is to practice them regularly at home. Get in the habit of eating properly so it just comes naturally. Or take another case. Say you're having lunch with your boss. Say he's thinking about somebody to fill a good position that's opening up. Well, put yourself in the boss's place. Would you give the job to a fellow like this? Or to a fellow who thinks that table manners are silly? You see what I mean about putting your best foot forward? Table manners are important, because people judge many things about you just by the way you eat. All right, maybe so, but it's, it's all so complicated. Is it? Look, there's nobody here. Let's try it out. What do you mean? 